Guys, it's time once again for another video on the stupidest channel on the internet, Everything Bagel. Today, I have a fun story for you guys, actually, before we get it started. By the way, we're doing 80s movies bracket fights today. Uh, I went on to the bracket fights homepage to see if there was any fun new bracket fights. And uh, the first thing that hit me, the first thing that hit me was, uh, this is one of the videos from this channel. And I was not expecting, I'm like, wait a second, that's my face, why is it on the Bracket Fights homepage? So, uh, very cool, I don't know who did this, I didn't do this. Um, there is a thing where you can submit a video to them, uh, and then I think it's like you submit a video to them and then they uh, either approve or deny it based on if they think it's decent enough to actually make it onto the website. But yeah, I think one of you, either one of you guys submitted this or they searched for, searched YouTube for like, uh, bracket fights videos and like looked for like recent ones. They were like, yeah, we'll stick this on there. I don't know how it exactly got on there. I didn't put it on there. I'm I don't have the I don't own the bracket fights uh, homepage. I know you you beg to like beg I beg to differ. Half your videos are bracket fights, but uh, either way, I'm honored to be on the bracket fights homepage. I was very surprised to actually see this when I went to bracket fights. So today we are doing uh, best '80s movie bracket fights. Now, we're actually doing two quizzes. We're, we're, the quizzes? They're not quizzes. This is not Sporkle. That's the other content we do on this channel. We gotta do something else aside from these two. We'll do, would you rather? No, 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 no. We've already done a bunch of that, too. Um, I got some other ideas. But anyway, there are two different 80s movie bracket fights on here. And in theory, these should both come up with the same answer. Will they actually come up? Well, we, we don't know which uh, which movies are going to be included in one or the other, but let's get it started. Okay, so we have Footloose or Dirty Dancing for the first one. Uh, we, if you guys don't know what BracketFights is, BracketFights.com. I mean, I may as well promote them if they're promoting me, right? Uh, BracketFights.com is basically like a tournament style of uh, whatever. Of whatever the bracket fight is about. So, if you guys are not familiar with that already. Uh, both these movies are about dancing. I could have, sw I, I, I don't even know if I've seen, I've seen so many clips making jokes and memes about Footloose that I feel like I've seen the movie. I don't know that I've actually seen the movie though. Have I ever, I have no idea. I know I've seen Dirty Dancing at least a, a at least a handful of times. So I'm going to have to go for it with Dirty Dancing. I don't know that this is necessarily a better movie because I don't know necessarily that I've even seen this movie, but we're gonna go, both of them are super iconic, right? Both of them are super iconic. We're gonna go with Dirty Dancing. Breakfast Club or 16 Candles? I feel like this one should be a no-brainer, unless you are a, what is it, John Hughes? This John Hughes uh, directed both movies. Why do I know things like this? Um, but John Hughes directed both movies, if I recall correctly, and this one's just a way more popular one. Like, so many more people know about this one. Uh, and this is, uh, it's got the same dude in both. Well, it's got the few of the same people. I was going to say few of the same units. What is this? It's an RPG video? Um, Anthony Michael, is that his name? Anthony Michael Hall? That's Mara Ringwald? Anyway, whatever. It's Breakfast Club is, is the most popular one. I think most people would agree. But unless you are a super huge John Hughes fan, you're like, no, let me explain to you this 150 different PowerPoint presentation uh, of, of why 16 Candles is better. Uh... But I am not the huge. Uh, I I am not the hugest John Hughes. Uh, fit. Listen, I'm gonna leave that. Okay, uh, enough dad jokes. Enough to uh, hugest John Hughes fit. Okay, uh, Beetlejuice. Never seen it. Gremlins. Never seen it. I maybe I should have seen more '80s movies before I actually did this bracket fight. Beetlejuice or Gremlins? I feel like uh, you can't go wrong with Michael Keaton, right? You probably can't go wrong with Michael Keaton. I'm gonna go with Michael Keaton on this. Steven Sp wait, wait, wait. Steven Spielberg directed Gremlins? Maybe I should see that now. Uh, we have Aliens or Nightmare on Elm Street. Which one is more iconic? Both of them. This is more, uh, this is super iconic for horror movie fans. This is super iconic for, uh, I think, just a larger amount of people overall. Wes Cravens. Yeah, let's go with Aliens. Just overall. Ro who framed Roger Rabbit? <laughs> or... That movie was so wacky. Wasn't that the first movie that blended, like, like actual real-life people and cartoons? And they were like, oh, it's a, it's a technological masterpiece or something like that. And then Space Jam comes along. It's like, listen, hold my, uh, I don't know, <laughs> hold my Bugs Bunny. Uh, anyway, uh, I love Clue. 
I don't know that this is necessarily a bet. Does any? I don't think anyone else likes the Clue movie. I like the Clue movie. I thought it was a good movie. I like the game too. I thought it was a good game. Clue on video cassette. On video cassette. Oh come on, man! How are you gonna? How? You know, you know what I'm gonna pick. I mean, I'm not even. Gonna, this is not even a question. There's no Terminator, great movie, but uh, I mean, Return of the Jedi is Return of the Jedi. Or is anyone fact checking? Well, I, I, who would be fact checking these? Is anyone fact checking these to make sure all of these movies were actually from the '80s, '80s, and not like uh, 1991 or like 1979 or things like that? Because I don't know when exactly all of these movies were. I assume that they're '80s, but uh, you never know. Okay, Little Shop of Horrors. It's not really iconic. I mean, some people know what it is. It was a funny thing. It was like a a, a play on Broadway too. Uh, and then Goonies is just way more. I mean, we can't go uh, over Goonies. My mom would disagree. She'd be like, Little Shop of Horrors was so great. It was, let me explain to you why. I'm like, no, 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 no. Goonies is more popular. We're going with Goonies. Listen, you don't know how YouTube works. They'll yell at you for not picking the popular answer. They'll yell at you for picking the popular answer, too. They'll be like, oh, he's such a follower. Never-ending story. Land before time. Was this really that big for anyone? Lucas Spielberg? Wait a second. Wait a flip fluffin second. Lucas Spielberg. You can you guys see this? It says Lucas Spielberg. So, jo unless it's like Frank Lucas and Donnie. S yeah, unless it's like let's <laughs> like check it. Unless it's like Frank Lucas and Donnie Spielberg, George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. Uh, I did not know that they made that. Wow, I gotta, I gotta go rewatch that. Are, are there like lasers and uh, cinematic elements? And well, I mean, of course the movie, of course the cinematic elements. Wow, um, maybe it's time to rewatch Land Before Time. Is all I'm saying. I did not realize. That. I'm not realizing half of these things. Okay, let's go. I feel like this is more iconic, but kind of want to watch Land Before Time now. Okay, let's go. Never Ending Story. You know nothing is gonna, you know nothing is gonna beat Jedi, right? I mean, we've uh, well maybe we haven't all seen videos on this channel before. Hi, if you're new and you haven't seen videos on this channel before, nothing is beating Jedi. I'm sorry. Maybe something will beat Jedi. Nothing is. Who, what's gonna beat Jedi? I'm gonna go with Breakfast Club. It's just so iconic. They're both for everything. We're. I think we're just going for the most iconic, unless I uh, veto things. I feel like Aliens is more iconic, but I kind of feel like. Maybe I should watch Beetlejuice. I haven't actually watched some of these movies. Okay, maybe we go with Alien just because it's more iconic. We're go I, I, I think that's what we've... I think that's what we've decided is we're just going with iconic movies. Let's go Goonies. Goonies was, uh... Goonies was the 80s. I think, I think Goonies was... Oh, god damn. Goonies was the 80s, and then they put it up against Return of the Jedi. I feel that there's a decent amount of... As much... As people love Star Wars, including myself, I feel like there is a decent amount of people that would argue that Goonies was like the movie of the '80s, at least in the top three. So we're basically showing like, well, actually, I mean, uh, Goonies and Breakfast Club—they were the '80s. There's so many. I mean, all these movies were the '80s. What am I gonna? Okay, we know we're, we're, we know I'm gonna be a douchebag and pick that, right? We we know that's what's uh, that's what's gonna actually happen. <sighs> I totally ruined this whole this whole uh, this whole bracket fight, didn't I? Bruce Willis Die Hard or Karate Kid? Wow, great! How are you gonna pick one movie over the other with some great great movies? I also like that new Karate Kid series too. I think they I think they started to like get wacky in like the what, what season are they even on? But I think they kind of like started to make the story like depressing and like. Well, the story is always actually depressing. The, even like for episode one, it was depressing. Um, both great movies. Should we go with Karate Kid? A little bit more iconic. Die Hard is very iconic, but uh, we'll go Ghostbusters over Poltergeist. I feel like that's an easy one. Ghostbusters is Ghostbusters. Blade Runner or Top Gun? Blade Runner. If you're in sci, if you're at the sci-fi, of course, Blade Runner is going to be the one that you're like, oh, Blade Runner is so good. Top Gun is just like it's, it's a larger. Uh, Larger audience, larger. Is this actually eight? Was this? They have probably eight, eight ladies, eight late, wait, eight ladies, late eighties. We're gonna go with Top Gun. Um, 
I think it just appeals to a wider audience. E.T. great movie. Extraterrestrial. If this was the E.T. game, this would be a different story. Uh, Back to the Future is just classic. I mean, both of these are classic 80s, but Back to the Future is like, there's so many more, uh, so many pop culture references to, to Back to the Future. Weird Science. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. We got to go with, um, we got to go with uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Just because, I mean, we're basically just going by whatever is more iconic. Labyrinth, though, I feel like this Batman, I love this Batman, by the way. Um, I love Michael Keaton in, in basically everything. I don't ever think of, like, Michael Keaton as, like, wow, he's such a great actor. But, like, anytime he does anything, I'm like, that was a great movie. It's like, well, did Michael Keaton carry that? <laughs> I don't know. I just know it was a great movie. Uh, he does a lot of a lot of great movies. Maybe I should see the rest of his movies that I wasn't really interested in by the uh, the, the box art or whatever. And I was like, oh. yeah, maybe I should see more Michael Keaton movies. Anyway, uh, Labyrinth was more. I feel like Labyrinth was more uh, definitive of the '80s. Personally, my pick is Batman, but. Should we keep going with my picks? I mean, uh, I already basically vetoed uh, something to put Jedi in there, as usual. I feel like we should go Labyrinth. I feel like that's the right pick. Tom Hanks Big or Spaceballs? Great movie. I really, I really enjoy this movie. Right? It's just, it's all about, it's all about a, a, an adult that. Well, you guys know because of course you're watching this. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go with Spaceballs. Because, of course, it's a Star Wars parody. I have not seen either of these movies. I don't know. I, I really don't know. What was I going to say about... Oh, but Big is, uh, Big is a great movie, too. I think this is more... Is this more iconic? I feel like this is more iconic. At least people are talking about it more uh, nowadays. Ghostbusters Karate Kid. We're going to go Ghostbusters. There's just so much more that's been done with Ghostbusters. I feel like these are just more more 80s we're just going with what's more like definitive of the 80s at this point coming to america or space balls i feel like this is just more definitive of the 80s than space ball i like space balls i've seen space balls a handful of times i have not seen coming to america but uh how you oh man what do you how you what is more definitive of the uh, oh, i feel like this one edges ghostbusters out a little bit both of these, I feel like, are, are very much on the same level. But that's how bracket fights work. Just in general, that's how bracket fights work. So. Jeez. Let's go back to the future. And you know I'm not going to choose anything over Jedi. Okay, on to the next one. Let's see. Uh, was, I, I feel like my, my personal opinion definitely skewed us trying to get scientific fact as to what's the most definitive 80s movie um let's let's say if i didn't ruin it by picking jedi <laughs> by like jedi just being there made everything else lose by comparison so as soon as anything star wars is in there uh, i i have uh, rose colored glasses on so goonies breakfast club i feel like w- would goonies beat out the breakfast club i feel like it, i feel like it might i feel like goonies might have actually been like the most definitive 80s movie there's all I mean I feel like they're all actually on pretty even ground though it's kind of a hard uh, <laughs> breakfast fight <laughs> bracket fight it's kind of a hard bracket fight to do because I feel like there's so many of them that are like this is pretty even this is pretty even this is pretty even this is pretty even hard decisions man very hard decisions okay let's go uh, second bracket fight do these have any they have basically a lot of the oh there's some different movies Indiana Jones. Why was Indiana Jones not on the, the 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 last one? Okay, let's see if we get. No 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 no. I messed up the bracket fight, so we had to refresh the uh, browser. Let's go uh, back to the future. Wasn't this the same exact pairing as the last time? We're trying. <laughs> yeah, we already know. Pretty Pink wasn't even on the last one though. This is another John Hughes uh, one. Princess Bride was a solid movie. Why does this look like a book? Do you see? Do you see the spine here? It looks like it's a book. Summer 1984. Why does it look like a book? 35th anniversary limited edition. Why does it look like a book? Anyway, yeah, Anthony Michael Hall. I was right. Michael Shuffling. I don't know what. I didn't know his name. No way. Uh, Princess Bride. Man, that's such a good movie. Such a good movie. I'm gonna pick Blade Runner. You know, pick Han Solo over. 
Vaguely, he wasn't Han Solo in Blade Runner. Right, but in my defense, in my version of it, he's Han Solo in Blade Runner, and no one is going to tell me anything differently. So let's go with Ghostbusters again, because of course we will. Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark versus Spaceballs. Way more definitive of the 80s. Way more definitive. Uh, Die Hard or Breakfast Club? I feel of course is more definitive of the 80s. Gonna be like, how dare you even say you're not giving Die Hard enough respect? That's true. That's true. Uh, let's see if we have any. We, I mean, we basically see a lot of the same, uh, a lot of the same movies though. There's different icons. Wait a second. What if I choose Indiana Jones here? Will we see another? So What if, what if, what if I didn't pick Jack? I'm just saying, in a theoretical situation, what if I picked Back to the Future? What if I, what if I click this one? What if I accidentally click that one? What would happen? What would happen to the world? Who, who would, who would wind up on top? Really, that's what we want to know. Uh, Indiana Jones or Ghost? I feel like this is just more, more iconic. I feel like, which one do I like more? Han Solo and Raiders of the Lost Ark? Like, no, 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 no. It's not Han Solo and Raiders of the Lost Ark. Right. But if it was Han Solo and Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think Ghostbusters. Oh, very iconic. I, I feel like Ghostbusters might be more iconic, though. Am I choosing, like, the best part is what if there were things that were in the same. Uh, the same matchup, the last one, and I chose differently this time. You're know, like, Bagel, you can't make up your mind. You're choosing totally different. Totally different this time. Let's go Karate Kid. That's more uh, definitive. Right, Goonies. I feel like we're coming to the same... I feel like we're coming to the same conclusions as the last time. Gremlins and Never Ending Story. We'll go with uh, Never Ending Story. We'll go with Coming to America. We'll go with... They snuck it in there! They snuck it in there, guys. Wasn't the other one uh, Jedi or Terminator? And I was like, well, there's no way Terminator's going anywhere if, if it's paired up against Jedi so soon. Of course, you've got to stick in. The uh, Top Gun is definitely more definitive than... Well, weird science, you know, it's de definitive of the 80s, but... Uh, Goonies, of course, of course. I feel like we're just making the same... Never-ending story. One is just more popular. <laughs> Sorry, coming to America. Why you gotta be up against Star Wars? Top Gun or E.T.? I feel like this is just reference more. I'll, also, I'm taking into consideration like a lot of uh, pop culture references to these things that are like in media now. How many times is E.T. referenced in current media? How many times is Top Gun referenced in current media? Right? So... Goonies or Ferris Bueller? Do we go Goonies? Am I a, am I a douche? <laughs> what if we didn't choose Star Wars? I feel like my love for Star Wars is, is skewing the data here. So let's not choose Star Wars. Not that I want to not choose Star Wars. Just that I feel like let's give something else a shot than Star Wars. Star Wars already dominated the entire first one, probably unfairly. Uh, Goonies or Top Gun? Both of them were so 80s, man. Watch, I'm gonna be like Google Top Gun later. I'm gonna be like, it was released in 1991. Oh my god, of course it was. Why is Tom uh, why is Tom Cruise not age? I feel like he's like maybe two years younger in this movie than he is now. How does he not age? Does he like never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I was gonna say like this. He like what? Why am I gonna say never mind and explain to you what I was never minding? Never mind. Never mind. Then never mind. Okay, let's go with Goonies. <gasps> I'm sorry, Tom Cruise. I'm so sorry. Do we choose Goonies or Back to the Future? Isn't this the same uh, the same decision? You could go literally either e either way. Steven Spielberg versus Steven Spielberg. Well, actually, he's wait wait wait. He's presents in both of these. He's presenting a Richard Donner film and a Robert Zemeckis film. So he's, he's just the presenter. Interesting. Just like how I'm presenting this bracket fight that is, uh, Steven Spielberg created this bracket fight. Can I use that? Can I get more views if I, if I say, uh, uh bracket fights, 
the, me presenting a Steven Spielberg create with Steven Spielberg did not make this racket fight. Steven Spielberg sitting there in his in his house. He's like, "Yes, I did. Yes, I did." Uh, let's go back to the future. Should we go back to the future? I feel like Back to the Future is. A, a, oh, Back to the Future. That means that one. That was the last one. I was like, "Hey, they both seem very." I can't even decide. You know what? What, what is the point of a bracket fight if I can't even decide on the answer? The whole point of a bracket fight is to find the answer, and if I'm not deciding, listen, I don't know, whatever. Star Wars is the best 80s movie, I don't even care. I don't even care what anyone says, Star Wars is the best. But there's also other good ones. If you take Star Wars out, by force, <laughs> something else might win. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got a laugh, or whatever. Uh, I will see you as always, BracketFights.com. Thank you, BracketFights, for putting me on the homepage. Uh... Still crazy to think of. Uh, for what? I, look, did you see how badly I butchered your entire site throughout the course of this video bracket fights? Jeez. Anyway, see you as always in the next one.